What's up YouTube? It's your girl Rochelle and I'm back with another video. Today I want to talk about net worth. If you are new to the net worth game or maybe you are a pro, you will enjoy this video for today. I am coming with a full net worth update for April 2021. Let's dive in. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Y'all to bomb.com. Now in today's video, I want to discuss how to track your net worth, calculate it, and see where you're at with your money. Because sometimes we fall into this, you know, low point of our debt journey where we feel like, we're paying all this money and we're not really seeing that much result because we are paying a lot of interest off and I want to show you how you can stay motivated okay so track your net worth if it's your first time grab a pen and paper because I'm gonna show you the simplest way to track your net worth okay so basically the true definition of net worth is assets minus liabilities that means the good stuff minus all the stuff you owe on so um, we're gonna track that number I'm gonna use my real actual numbers for our family and show you how we're looking so the last time we did this check-in we were in the month of January 2021 bringing in a new year with a net value of $250,000 $250,367.48 to be exact okay so um, I don't really track my net worth month by month, so I gave it a little while, but just to catch you guys up, in the month of February, our net worth actually grew to $259,249.21, so happy about that. That was actually a gain of $8,881.73. Then the month of March, it didn't really change month. It stayed right at $259,210.49, which meant it only grew about $38.72. That's because we spent a lot of money cash flowing our kitchen renovation. We did a lot of, a, a huge major renovation project in our home. And so we cash flowed it. So we actually spent a lot of money, which caused our net worth to actually go down a lot. Um, but we were able to maintain by still in investing and doing other things which brings us to the month of April okay so if you are ready to track your net worth the first thing you want to look at is the good stuff I always start with the good stuff okay so the assets let's talk about your cash on hand let's talk about whatever money you have sitting in your checking accounts your savings accounts your kids college funds that you are actually contributing cash to um, maybe you have a car fund because you want to purchase a new car your emergency fund um, even even that coin bank those penny banks you have lying around the house pull them all out add up all the money you have okay and that is considered cash on hand you know what I even count foreign currency because we do trend to travel to Mexico at least uh, once a year um, because that's where my husband's parents have retired to and are living their best life and so we keep pesos count it all anyway for us when we counted all of that up I'm using my net worth calculator by the way um, and if you want a very simple starter beginner net worth calculator it can be yours for a solid five dollars okay link in my bio hello I was looking for something super easy to track it um, but anyway when I added all of our liquid cash up it came to fifteen thousand three hundred fifty nine dollars and twenty five cents y'all I scraped the barrel I looked for any cash I could find so that's cash the second thing you want to look at are your investments I'm talking about your full way for away your 401k your stocks your bonds some people still have bonds um, and when I say stocks I mean even the ones on Robinhood Fidelity stockpile check out the stockpile app um, and if you're new to any of those apps like Robinhood check out the links below in this video I have free links where you can get free stocks just for signing up um, even the Fidelity the IRAs your HSA anything that's employer funded or employer started look at all of it y'all pull it all up so for us, um, just in terms of stocks, uh, through Fidelity, Robinhood, Stockpile, all those type apps, 
our stocks we're beginner stock stockers okay okay that's what i call us we're beginners our stocks total six thousand six hundred forty one dollars because we started out following the dave ramsey plan which meant you pay off all your debts first and then you start investing but once we um, became consumer debt free for the first time in july of 2019 we decided that that wasn't actually July 2020 that we decided that we wanted to start investing little by little. And so that's what we're working with. Next up, our 401ks. Now I have a small one and my husband has a couple and they total $123,231.22. So this is what we call our big kahuna. It's what keeps us afloat so that any debts that we may have, as long as they don't come to over that amount, we, we stay green. Okay, next up, we talked about cash. We talked about investments. The third one is property. I'm talking about your main home, any rental properties you may have, any cars that you have that are of value, you like maybe you are positive in your car maybe your car you purchased your car for fifty thousand but you have already paid it off um, you want to count that car that's value you want to look on blue book kelly blue book and find out the value of your home or any of those type websites you also could this is not something that i personally do but some people do include items in their home that are of value so that would mean any special metals or jewelry that you may have or maybe you have a vintage painting that's been in your family for a very long time you could have someone you know find out the value of it um, any tech you might have cameras computers I don't really tend to count any of that stuff if, if you want to count it so that you can have a positive net value do you will count it count it okay then the final category are the assets I'm talking about the rewards and gift cards this is the one that um, people don't really pay enough attention to maybe and I'm new to it I was just exposed to it by mommy trader and a couple of other fabulous youtubers on here and basically you are tracking your rewards so if you use fetch if you use Abata, if you use coin out any of those type of things then you want to count these okay you want to add it all up the other thing you want to add up are your credit card rewards so I keep mine in two separate categories I have credit card rewards that are actual cash back all I have to do is hit the button and they will give me the cash for it and credit card miles I keep those I do not do not tend to turn those to cash I usually use those to cover the purchase of airline tickets or hotel rooms or rental cars and the like now, before we move on and I tell you how much I ha I'm working with in that category, I didn't tell you how much I was working with for our home, which was property category. The, our home is currently valued at $146,786. Boom. Current value of our main home. Okay, now let's talk about the fun stuff, the rewards and gift cards, because they kind of added up. This, is, this was my first time adding it. It... Let's talk about the credit card cashback. Cashback totaled $128.80. That's what we have on hand right now on our credit cards. And credit card miles totals about $199.51 worth of travel that I could book if I wanted to. And it's so low because I just recently booked some travel. So, um, but that's okay. That's what we have left over. And then when you talk about fetch, coin out, Abada, and all those type things, I had $34.41 worth. So, that's all the green. All the green for us. Add it all up, y'all. Get your calculator. Use my net worth calculator. Use a regular calculator. Add it up. For us, our assets total $292,146.27. So that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. All right, now you know we got to talk about the bad stuff, okay? The not so good, the liabilities, the stuff that's in red, okay? Um, the first category you want to look at are um, anything that's consumer debt. So that would be credit cards, that would be loans, whether it's auto loans, student loans, regular loans, like personal loans, home equity loans, car payments, anything like that, y'all. We want to add all of that up. So for us, we, I am 
counting $3,337, which is the current balance on my husband's credit card for a MacBook he purchased, which he needed for work. And it's on an interest-free card. We good. Like, but I just still count it because I have not paid it off yet. Well, well. Okay, then the second category is your mortgage. So our mortgage, our home is worth $146,000, but we have a current mortgage on it totaling $21,473.40. Y'all, we almost there. Just a little bit more until we can say we are mortgage free. So that is really exciting to watch the number go down. So that's what's considered like long-term, long-term liability. Your mortgage and car loans, those are long-term. Now, short-term is like the credit card that I mentioned. And then there's a third category, which I personally have created, and that is debt that I have taken on via contracts or that I know is in the works um, because I just like to keep an eye on every dollar that's coming in and every dollar that's going out. So like I said, we're in the middle of a huge home rental project. We are in the middle of trying to secure a car for the first time in two years. We just have a lot of things in motion right now. And total, I have pending contracts slash, I got my branding that I just paid, yeah, yeah. All of that stuff is coming to $11,535.69. And so I kind of do a rolling amount every month to see how much I'm working with, who I'm working with, and how much I have to pay back. I just don't like surprises. Um, I've signed on the line already. I know I got to pay it back. So that's what I'm working with for liability. So take all of your liability, liabilities, everything you owe, and add it up. For us, it totaled $36,346.09. Now here comes the moment of truth, okay? The moment we all been waiting for. What is your net worth? Assets minus liabilities. Now for us, I don't know what you guys are working with. Your number could be way better than mine, okay? And if it's not, that's okay too because you got to start somewhere so you can get because I'm telling you we were so red we were in the red but as of right now um, well as of April 30th our net worth is $255,800.18 so we are in the green we are positive and like I said a lot of that is due to our 401ks and our home value so we take good care of it and we are investing in our home and I don't know once these upgrades are completed, I might have a friend go in and just, you know, see what the true value of the home is. I'm not going to pay for an official review because I don't plan on selling our home um, anytime in the near future. But it's just good to keep an eye on your 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 numbers because they can keep you motivated, y'all, in this debt payoff journey. So that's how it's looking for us. Overall, since the month of January, since the last time I sat and crunched these numbers, we have um, grown our net worth by about $4,000. And I'm happy with that considering it hasn't been our main focus to grow our net worth. Um, we, we, we prefer to cash flow a lot of things um, one the biggest one being our home renovation and so we invested in ourselves so we're gonna see the value of that by bringing on um, higher rent <laughs> look out tenants here it comes now um, but I already know that for the month of May our net worth has already gone up and we're only about a week into it today is Sunday May the 9th and I already know that our net worth has gone up so I'm excited about what we can accomplish by the end of 2021 but anyway that's all for me let me know in the comments below have you ever tracked your net worth do you track it how you guys are looking see you guys in the next video until then peace love and budgets <music>